What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, I'll show you step by step on how to draw and color Darwin from Gumball. Let's begin today's lesson at the top of our page and draw two circles for the eyes. Let's start over on the left side. Start from the top of our circle. It's gonna go all the way around towards the bottom. And it'll bring that back up towards the top. Now I wanna draw that same size circle on the right side, but I'm gonna raise this up a little bit higher. So let's line this up go up to the top, bring that circle coming in, and then we'll bring that back up toward the top of our circle. Now let's draw two smaller circles in the center of each eye. Going all the way around, and then back up. And then we'll fill the center of the pupils. Let's add the lashes on the outside of the eyes. Starting on the left, draw one angle line going up. Step down, draw that again. Let's go to the right eye and do the same thing. Now we're gonna give our character a large open mouth. So let's start underneath the left eye. Start with a curve coming down. Just bend that up towards the right eye. Let's round up the side of the mouth. So we'll start on the left, Come all the way around, and then pull that in towards the bottom. Go to the right side, go all the way around, and we'll pull that in. Let's close off the bottom of the mouth, then move this across, and then back up. Let's place the tongue over on the left side. So starting from the side of the mouth, we're gonna go up to the top, and we'll bring that back down. Now from here, I'm drawing the lower half of the head. From the outside of the right eye, let's step out. Let's start with that point and bump out the cheek, going out, come around, and then bring that in. Now to curve the head coming back around and then up toward the left side. Come down, go across, now I'm just gonna bend that up. Let's go back up to the top of the cheek, start by going up around the eye, and then bend that in. Now I'm going to flatten off the top of the head with a slight curve. Going up and then down. Now from here I'm just going to round up the head and then come down, just aiming towards this point. And round and then pull that down. Let's place that fin in behind that gap. So from the left side at the top, step up, go up, bend that down, round up the fin, in and then up towards the side of the head. Let's add two lines inside that fin. Now we're going to go back up to the top and add in the eyebrows. Starting on top of the left eye, start with the curve going up and then down. Do the same thing on the right. Let's round up the ends of the eyebrow, just pulling these back in along the top. And we'll close off the top of the eyebrow with a curve. And we'll fill the inside of the eyebrows in black. Now we're gonna work our way down towards the bottom of the feet. Let's start in the center, just underneath the head. Start with a straight line coming all the way down towards the bottom. Now from the bottom of that line, it's gonna curve the heel coming down and then out towards the left. Go back to the center, bend this down and then out towards the right. Let's round up the feet, coming all the way around. I'm just gonna pull that in towards the ankle. Now I'm gonna go back up to the top underneath the head and draw a straight line coming down towards the ankle. So we'll start on the left. Bring it straight down, line this up on the right, and do the same thing. Let's separate the tip of the sock, come down with an angled line on both sides, and we'll add a small oval across the ankles. From the top of the foot, we're going to step up, draw a straight line going all the way across from left to right. 
step up and draw that again. Now I'm gonna bring the arms coming down from underneath the head. Let's start over on the left. Come around, round up the arm, and just pull that back up underneath the body. Let's go over towards the right side and do the same thing. Now that we've finished drawing this in, let's add a highlight on the left side of the head with this yellow. We're gonna start at the very top, just follow the curve of the head coming down, round up the bottom, round up the top, and follow that curve along the inside, and then we'll fill the center. Now we're gonna go in with our orange and fill in the rest of the head. So we're gonna go around that highlight. way down the arms and the legs. Let's fill the inside of the mouth with this red going around the tongue. And we'll fill the tongue in with this pink. And with our final color, we'll use this green inside the socks, going around the trim. And once we finish coloring this in, we'll be sure to sign our artwork. And that's pretty much it. That's how we draw and color Darwin Watterson. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe. And you can also check out more videos in our other two channels. I want to thank you for watching, and I'll see you again soon.